in the heart of Hollywood's golden age. Amidst the glitz and glamour, a chilling mystery unfolded that would haunt this city for decades. It was January the 15th, 1947, and just after 10 o'clock in the morning, when a housewife had left her home on Norton Avenue in the suburbs of Los Angeles. She would come across the lifeless body of a young woman. But at first she thought that this strange looking object was nothing more than a mannequin. The body itself was pale white and there was no signs of blood anywhere. This my friends is the haunting tale of Elizabeth Short, also known or dubbed by the press as the Black Dahlia. Upon the discovery of this body, obviously at the time nobody knew who this lady was. But it was the use of a fingerprinting system known as the sound photo which would help crack the identity of this lady. Now this system, sound photo, had been used by news reporters in Los Angeles. An autopsy was performed on Short's body on January the 16th 1947 and marks on her body suggested the woman had been bound and tortured and her official cause of death was cerebral haemorrhage and shock. Her body had been cut into two halves. There were mutilations all along her body and her face. The body itself had been thoroughly washed before being placed on the vacant lot at Norton Avenue and many people suggested at the time and even to this day that it was somebody with extreme knowledge, surgical knowledge, who had committed this heinous crime. Now Elizabeth Short's killer had also, like I said, mutilated her face by cutting her from one side of her face on the cheek, right across and across her mouth and to the opposite side, making a smiling feature from the mutilations. The body was even found carefully posed, her upper half with her arms raised above her head. Her face beyond the mouth cuts was still clearly visible, albeit with injuries consistent with repeated blows. When news soon broke on the discovery of Elizabeth Short's body, the press were quick to dub this case as the Black Dahlia murder, and this was loosely themed on a movie that was out at the time, called The Blue Dahlia. Now the discovery of Elizabeth Short's body would also raise many questions, but the first being, who was Elizabeth Short? Born in Massachusetts, Elizabeth's fascination with Hollywood began early, and she was enchanted by the magic of the movies. She moved to Los Angeles in July 1946, renting a room behind the Florentine Gardens nightclub on Hollywood Boulevard. Now to help pay her rent, she took on a job as a waitress, as acting jobs were very difficult to come by. Los Angeles in the 1940s was a city of contrasts, behind the glimmering facade, corruption and vice lurked in the shadows, and aspiring starlets just like Elizabeth would navigate a world where fame and danger would often be intertwined. Now as for the murder itself and the suspects, and why was Elizabeth Short murdered? Many names were brought forward, and the police themselves would investigate over 75 men's names that were found in Elizabeth Short's contact book. Now, most of these men would deny having much knowledge about Elizabeth by saying they only briefly knew her. But on January the 24th, 1947, a suspicious manila envelope was addressed to the Los Angeles Examiner as well as other Los Angeles newspapers. This envelope would include a letter which used cut-out words from newspaper clippings that simply said, here is Dahlia's belongings. Now inside this envelope were shorts, the certificate, business cards, photographs, names written on pieces of paper and an address book. All of the contents of this envelope had been cleaned with gasoline, similar to how Short's body had been cleaned upon her discovery. The Black Dahlia case, as it is now widely known as, has captivated the imaginations of many want-to-be sleuths. Many YouTube videos, many documentaries 
many books have been written and produced on this subject. The case has remained unsolved for all these years, and despite the many suspects that have been named, not one of them has been charged. Now, we're not going to name and talk about all of the suspects or any of the suspects. What these short videos are mainly about are to highlight these true and at times graphic crimes. Many of these upcoming stories are going to be unsolved. But what we want you to do is research and look into some of these stories yourselves and then come to your own conclusions. Comment down below if you have already heard of this story and if you have any suspects yourselves who may not have already been written about. Or comment down below on maybe a suspect who you have already heard about. We have got a lot more of these short stories, these short true crimes coming. But like I say, we're not going to delve too deeply into them. We're going to give you the basic facts and then it's up to you to dig further. Now in the meantime, if you like this kind of content and these shorter stories, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also, please don't forget to share these and all our other videos. It does help the channel tremendously and we do really appreciate it but in the meantime i want to take care look after yourselves remember to always stay curious but stay safe in the process and we will be back soon with more tales from our dark but at times glorious past take care everybody